Hello. Me again. Let's see. Hey, you know, I am an optimist. I am an optimist, you know. I have a lot of hope. You know, I have a love, you know, for a lot of things. You know, I love this world. I love... Like, when I mean I love this world, I love the people in it. The animals, the nature. And, you know, I want... I really, really want, you know, to believe in a beautiful future. And I know that it can be achieved, you know. Like, we need to be aware of what's going on. You know, I hear the birds. You know, and then looking around, like, look at that. There's, like, dew on the grass. Morning dew or a rain or something. But at the same time, you know, like, the experiences that I've had, everything, like, you see, that's the thing. Potentially everything outside could be a lie. Look, and I heard my grandma calling me and everything. You see, like, you know, like over the past week, you know, I tried to wear, raise awareness amongst some of my, you know, people that I thought I could trust. But, you know, it's just startling when you see that, like, this world really is. Everything we thought we knew, everything we thought we knew about this existence, just when you think you might have it figured out, it's like you get tossed another curveball, you know, and that's, like, you know, I believe the nature of things and everything, you know. It's about being able to, like, you know, tune, like, all this negative frequencies out and everything, like, you know, like, it's that thing, what do you choose to believe in? What is the reality of it? And the truth is, like, you know, everything we see could possibly be a lie, you know, like, maybe it's a trick, you know, a trick to try and drive us, like, you know, make us fearful, but the truth is, you know, I don't fear, I don't want to fear anything, you know, I put my face out there, you know, the truth, like, all these things, YouTube, Google, oh, look, there's a bee flying around me, but, ah, big black carpenter bee, you know, all these things, like, you know, YouTube, Facebook and everything, they're good tools and everything, you know, but, like, if you really trace it back, they were all conceived and constructed by, you know, these people that want to enslave us, these people that want to enslave us, you know, like, you know, all that alphabet soup, you know, like, be it CIA, NSA, whatnot, and everything, it's all part of the same alphabet soup and everything, and you, you know, like, sometimes, like, you can never really know what to really believe, what is, like, in a sense, I've gotten a glimpse of what the potential agenda might be, you know, like, you know, you get all this conflicting information, like, you know, focus on the positive, which I do, I do focus on the positive, and, you know, I do have faith and hope that, you know, whatever, like, in a sense, maybe deep down inside, like, you know, that knowing and everything, I understand what, like, maybe I have been given the inside scoop, but I don't even really know it yet, in a sense, I'm not sure what it is, you know, like, this world is not what we thought it was, you know, how, when you realize, like, you know, just how controlled this existence has been, this modern existence, you know, like, I mean, look at it, like, look at that. But then, you know, the truth. Like, you can't hide the truth. Like, it's still bursting. Look, someone's walking a dog. Like, that's strange. Like, maybe that's part of the programming, you know? Like, oh, you gotta walk your dogs every day. Because I've seen so many people nowadays walking their dogs. But, you know, that whole thing, like, everything outside is, you know... What I want to believe is that it's a reflection of what's inside, you know? It's that war, that battle within, and everything. But then I have to ask myself, you know, maybe that's what they want us to think, in a sense, like, oh, you gotta fight, like, you know, the enemies within, like, nothing outside is really real, but is it really all just a projection, or, like, you know, in a sense, even if everyone in this world is a projection from what's in here, like, still, like, you know, I still care about them, they're still real, and, like, some of them, like, you know, they've hit on to things, like, is it, are they, 
agents of disinformation? Are they trying to, like, you know, pump out all this, like, nonsense to try and, like, you know, disinform us, keep us, like, in this endless loop of what is true? Like, you hear, now, like, you know, I've done research, in a sense, and yeah, like, some startling things have happened, like, the Gulf Stream, that has stalled, and that ties back into that whole oil disaster and whatnot, and, like, then you can bring the whole harp thing in the mix. Oh, look, someone over there, they're trimming a tree. They're cutting a tree, that noisy thing. They're shearing it, you know, using machinery and everything. It's like, you know, the thing is, the truth is, like, the only thing, the true discernment is what's within, you know. Use that as your measuring rod, because the truth is, you... How can you, you can't really trust what's in this outside world, you know, it could all potentially be the manifest illusion and everything, but at the same time, like, you know, you look at what's going on in Egypt too and everything and like, you know, that looks like, you know, it's a sign of hope and everything, but then you hear, oh no, wait, it might act like, you know, everything is not what it seems, that's the whole thing, the whole point, the whole potentially sick joke of it all, like, you know, are they that's being played on not just me but on everybody you know like we have to wake up to the reality we need to wake up to the reality you know and it's not about fighting anyone it's just you know we have to make take our stand in whatever way we can you know I can't tell you what to do and you know like I'm still figuring out on a daily basis exactly what you know my purpose is in this grand scheme of things you know like is this all like, you know, a test for me, in a sense. Are they trying to condition me into something, or am I, tr it's about me conditioning myself into something, you know? Like, I don't want to be swayed by outside influences, but at the same time, there's some things, like, you know, like, that just cannot be ignored sometimes. And I don't know. You know, I want to do what I know is right, you know? And I love people, you know, I love everyone. I don't want anything bad to happen. No one wants anything bad to happen to anyone, you know, or maybe some people do want bad things to happen, you know, there are people out there, you know, that's something, you know, that's the reality, but the thing is, we all have the potential to do the right thing in a sense, and like, but what is the right thing, you know? Like, if you look at it, the word government, govern, means control, meant, M-E-N-T, that's mind. So it's right there, it's in your face, kind of thing. So how can we really, you know, like, put faith in that, you know? I do, like, in a sense, you know, I take it with a grain of salt, whatever I hear, or I try to tune out what I hear from them, because it's the same old, same old, it's the same old, same old. And then when you hear that, like potentially everything, this entire, like you know, the matrix that we live in, this divine holographic matrix, like they're learning or they've known how to control and manipulate it for thousands of years. And like now it's getting, it's reaching a fever pitch. It's like this is a spiritual war that we're in, you know, and that's why, like, it's even more important now for us to hold true to like the core of who we are, you know.